know how to get a hold of Zeringer, and you know how to get a hold of David Mosquin, you know, the Craig, and, and, and these guys have, have worked, they're in this. We are not like, we don't work on the moon. We're just over at Columbus, just a little phone call, and when you get all hacked off about something, before you go crazy, call us. And let's see if we can help to work out some of the issues that you're going to have. Because it's inevitable you're going to have them. And these road use agreements and all that. So, Jim, you know, Sean, and I don't know, are we going to get to a point where we're going to be able to get real specific with all these things? We are now. How many of these uh, meetings have you had around the area? Um, Jerry Ray, who is the director of ODOT, and, and a, uh, I think they go with Jerry for most of the meetings, but six meetings throughout the, this region, met with county commissioners, township trustees, county engineers to discuss it. And uh, I think the engineers really get it because they're the ones building roads. But this is something that uh, that's never been done before. And, and I believe, uh, like the governor said, if you have any questions about it, just contact DNR. We'll be glad to walk you through it. And uh, by the way, how about a round of applause for that city? Here with us also today. Yeah. So, um, I want to bring up to you that since I have you all, and they're getting nervous, I gotta go, but I, I want to. The other thing I want to bring up to you is infrastructure. And I want to talk to you about something that's very controversial, and that's that turn point. And I want to explain it all to you from the beginning to the end. But I see when you're a politician and people say, Can you get me a road? You know what your answer is? What do you think the answer is when you're running for office? The answer is yes, of course you'll get around, okay? So what's happened over the years is the promises have exceeded the revenue. I'll tell you a funny story. I was running for the state senate and somebody wanted a road. I don't even remember what it was. That, and uh, I went to Jim Rhodes, the governor, and I said, Governor, you know, they want to have this road. He said, okay, tell me we'll go get it. I said, well, are we going to get it? He said, just tell them that. We'll take care of it later, maybe. So what's happened is we added up all the promises that have been made, and we added up all the revenue, and we're about $1.6 billion short. And for the first time, we've leveled, we've leveled with people about what the situation is. Now, we know we need to do infrastructure. Jerry Ray, the director of transportation, went back inside of his operation, and he has figured out a way, and I don't know what period of time, they can save about $150 million. That's pretty good. But that ain't a hell of a lot. Okay. It's good, 150 million, but these construction projects are so high that it's a great start. Now he's also talking about being able to privatize the the exits on the state roads. That would bring in 50 million dollars, is what they're estimating. So you know, Wendy's wants to open up and have a clean bathroom and all that other stuff, and then that will save us. I think it's 50 million gain, and then it avoids 50 million in costs. So that's another chunk of money. Pretty good. The other thing we're talking about is well, two other areas. One is polling. You know, if you want to have a road and you have the traffic, you know, you can do a poll. Now, no politician wants to talk about it, but no, I don't care. I mean, this is what I've got to tell you. So, in some circumstances, we might be polling, like the Brent Spence Bridge down in Cincinnati. We're going to probably have, we're going to definitely, part of it's going to be polling. But there's another thing that we can do. And that is what's called design build. And this is a process where you design a project, you get partners in the private sector, business people, they build the road, and then we pay them, sort of like paying a mortgage on a house. They may contain control that they build the road, we make payments to them, and then once the payments are completed, we take ownership of the road. If you're going to do this in Portsmouth, in the Portsmouth bypass. But that is something for all of us to think about in this region. Now, what about the turnpike? Okay, I was just on the turnpike. And people tell me we're worried about the maintenance. Well, hell, that foot thing is falling apart. And um, so what we've done is we've asked for a study to figure out would we get any money if we, if we lease this year? Could we bond against the revenue? In other words, we could do a bond and pay it off with the revenue of the turnpike. Or could we lease it? Now, if we can get a couple billion dollars out of this, it means we maintain underlying control, but we would get a couple billion dollars to do this infrastructure, we'd be crazy not to think about it and probably not do it. Now, when it comes to tolls and maintenance and all that, those are things you write in agreement. And 
I worry about the maintenance so much because I've been on this thing and I see the maintenance. It's not been very good, not good at all. It may mean that we can't do anything because the value of the term might be maybe so low. I don't know yet. There's no decision been made. But all of this possibility of tolling, privatizing the exits, um, doing this design build, all of this is designed to do infrastructure. And you all know we need to do infrastructure because you can't make things if you can't ship things. And that's what that's all about. And you'll hear more about it, but I, I thought you should, you might want to hear this and understand where the heck we're coming from on this. Again, no decision on that. But you as a community ought to get together and think, are there some projects that are really important to you? I don't know where they rank on, and, and let me tell you how we do highway projects. I can care less who my friends are when we do highway projects. I'm not into that. Can we figure that out yet? I, don't, I, don't, I just don't play that game. And we do it on the basis of where we think we can get the greatest amount of economic development, because that's what it's all about. So on the infrastructure side, you should think about that as well, and there are now some options. And I would encourage you, if you want to, to get Jerry Ray up here, talk to him, meet with him. We're very open with suggestions that local people have about what we ought to do. So thanks for listening. Thanks for coming. Sean, thanks for coming.